This is the women's highlights for day two of HSBC 7's Hong Kong. Injection. Someone up the middle, and that is the pass up the middle for Talita Costa. She doesn't have quite the pace of her sister, but she's got enough. That's all that matters. And Talita Costa scores under the sticks for Brazil. Advantage. Well, ball skills clear for Norman Bell, though. And then on the end of the chain, Jade Shekels is going to get a second. <laughs> Norman Bell swooped on that loose ball, a little wink, and the two besties, Shekels and Norman Bell, combined for the try. Isla oh, King, the crashing out of deep defence. Setefano again, no way through this rugged French defence. Oh, Kaka did well to evade Siofani and then get through another. Siofani comes back, but Kaka looking to release Blyde, stepping away from Ikeba, off she goes! Michaela Blythe is almost unstoppable at the moment. What an escape act there from the Blackburn Sevens, only metres away from their own try line. And Michaela Blythe is operating at an elite level at the moment. Siren's gone. France to try and pinch this and finish top of the group. Scrum moving eventually. Jacquet goes herself. Stopped in her tracks by Tyler King. It's a good tackle on the line. Okemba. She's long, she's lean, she's powerful, and she's over to win it for France. France kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And they end New Zealand's unbeaten run and pool play this season. Island down to six. Quick tap from Fiji. Looking to possibly ice this game as Rajeli Davayu is going to ease her way in round. She's going to come to and then just giving the ball a little air to score under the post. Menadani Goro. Fiji at their best. Nice little goosey on the edge. And cheeky play here to pop back on the inside to put Fiji up further and further ahead in this match. That's a good hard carry from a player who's becoming increasingly influential in this Aussie team. Balanessa just going about her work. The number 10 is Kaslik. Dishing off for Levi and she just makes it look so effortless. The way she can get rid of defenders and then boost away once more Madison Levi. Well, people might watch Maddie Levi and think, how do they let her score so many tries? But she is just so skillful. She's got footwork. She is an absolute nightmare to defend. And that's why she's always up there, top of the try scorers. Segata, Karach, one more pass might do it. Need a quick reload here. That's exactly what they get. And storming in for the try is Maria Calvo. There's the siren for full time. So unless there's a score before the next whistle, unless it's a penalty, we will go to Golden Point. There's a nice offload out the back. Now an opportunity for Wakapahara. The stop go. That's it. That's the win. And that's the quarter-final for Japan. What a finish. The Brave Blossom women are into the last eight. Ma throws it over the top to Alex Cedric. Liv Apps has got hold of her shoulder. And now another opportunity for Kaylin Thomas. And Kaylin Thomas on debut for the USA will score her first try 
in HSBC sevens. What a moment for her and what a crucial score in the context of the game. Still alive here for Canada. Bermudez dummies. She's got support if she needs it. She finds Pula. Pula gets it away and that'll do it. Fancy Bermudez. And a bit of afters as well. What a score. And Canada barring something extraordinary here. Side. Penalty for the USA, Sullivan, Sullivan is going to get on with it, trying to catch Fiji's defence off guard, goes herself, Sammy Sullivan, close to the line, four metres short, Fiji really having a scramble, Kelter spots the gap and Kelter goes over. Play on. Let's play on again, it's untidy, look at the bouncing ball, oh gosh it's difficult and it's there for Ma. Get herself in it, give herself a round of applause and grab a try. And Ma, she's happy with that one. Well, not only are they here playing in a cup quarter final Ireland, but they will be one of the top eight teams in Madrid at the end of the season. That was confirmed earlier today. And here's Serafina Kemba for France. Oh, look at the pace. Scorching round the outside. Serafina Kemba, silver medalist from Tokyo. That was the kind of form that picked up that medal. Lou Noel gets it away to Siofani now. Now Joanna Grise, leading try scorer for France here in Hong Kong. And here comes number five. You give this woman any space at all, and she will eat the meters up. And that might be well the daylight that France need to get through to the semi-final. This is a very much a changed team. They found a little bit of confidence. Again, not much variation in the attack, but they hit up through Norston, but she's had it ripped off her. And New Zealand's going to go over again. Turning defense into attack. Georgia Miller getting it done. Cup quarter final here. Canada chasing New Zealand. But in full flight, Mahina Paul, beautiful individual effort from deep inside her own end. He just backs herself straight away as soon as she gets the ball does. Mahina Paul goes across the face of the defense, one straight and step there, just the left foot, changes direction. Oh, and that's really popped the bubble of the Canadians, you can see now with their energy levels. And now Australia look hungry for points. NASA in the middle with Tia Hines. Hines just ghosting around herself and slipping through the tackle. And one of the young guns, Tia Hines, finally breaks this deadlock. And she goes through the Japanese defence to break the deadlock. There was a long passages of play for both teams. And Japan will give away a penalty. That's what Australia need. Now they roll forward, this champion team. Tegan Levi taking it upon herself. Now looking to race away. And a big time player is going to come up with a critical play at a critical moment. Tegan Levi gives Australia some breathing room. She loves it. And it's gritty determination from Tegan Levi, yes. Intensity sealed with a kiss as well.